All right, so what we're going to be doing is um, graphing this um, polynomial function into our calculator, x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. Um, before we do that, I want you to list out the rational, um, the possible rational roots. So we're going to do this by looking at this 8 right here, the constant, which we'll call our p, and the 1 that we don't see right here in front of the x cubed, which we'll call our um, q. So for p, the um, factors of 8 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, and plus or minus 8. The factors for q are just plus or minus 1. And then to list the rational roots, what we do is we put the p factors over the q. Um, in this case, there's only one q, so we're going to have plus or minus 1, 2, 4, and 8. Um, I put the fractions here just so you could see it, but you wouldn't need to write 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 4 over 1, and 8 over 1. Um, how it's listed right here is just fine. However, um, if Q had more factors, um, then I would need to see um, them listed as fractions as well. So I'm going to go over here. Make sure you plug it into your graphing calculator correctly. Make sure you're using the X um, function button that they give you. Um, if you're trying to use the letter on your calculator, it might not work. Okay, so once you enter it, you're going to click plot. All right, and then you're going to go to num. And then here, um, if you do not see this view, um, and if your view just has a bunch of numbers in it, then I would go to Shift and Setup and make sure that over here it says Build Your Own as opposed to Automatic. Alrighty. So back here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start entering in these points. So I'll do all the even ones first. So I'll do one. Nope. Two. <gasps> Ooh, two is one. Four. Four is one. And eight. So I listed all my even ones. Now, um, excuse me, my positive ones. Uh, two and four both result in zero. So that means that they are both roots for my equation. Um, however, notice how it is x cubed, so that means I have a third root. So let's enter in those negatives. So negative 1, oh, there it is. So I'm just going to enter in the other ones so you can see. Um, but once you find that third one, then you're about done. All right, so notice how I have zeros for 2, 4, and negative 1. Um, that means those are the roots and the answer to this question of what are the rational roots of x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8.